Hi again. Actually, this part is uh, frequently asked that uh, how we can remove the already installed WordPress plugins forever. The only way is to use a uh, PHP my admin. Actually, the redundant data remains in the WP options, and this posts are very important for this a uh, video guide. And you can see is this a uh, less known feature of WordPress, and this is PHP my admin. Uh, for example, this you have to know the name of the table which is actually not table or row which is uh, which is already deleted the plugins is already deleted now the question is uh, how you can actually understand the plugin is uh, deleted and uh, that is the name of the row or table in WP options basically you have to do a bit uh, web search and sometimes a bit uh, assumption based work and as you know the if we uh, select any row or table and uh, go for the drop option there is actually no other way to run back so you have to take a backup first maybe you can take backup after each action after each set set of action you can take a backup so so that you can actually uh, reduce your work there are some bizarre names uh, maybe the wordpress actually uh, there are uh, tables with odd names there are default uh, wordpress options you can uh, compare with your other installation of wordpress uh, to understand uh, the values the name of the values You can see the block list actually. So bad words for comments. So showing up with a different name. This is also a default uh, settings. No, it is not default settings, it's def deleted. You have to make sure that whether it is really a, a default option or a, a part of an existing plugin or hmm, redundant data that is creating the problem or making your database quite heavy. You can see the welcome message. everything is uh, inst regarding to uh, specific installation a good amount of data in, in this WP options and uh, possibly the plugins is an issue that it cannot uh, delete this um, rows this plugin is definitely not present we have deleted it many uh, months ago that is WP syntax writer so I can safely push the delete button yes, yes sir. and they will be deleted forever and there is no option to uh, get back 
um, there is no on to option except uh, if I do not have a backup I cannot do anything so I took the rates it's been deleted and just check you for that on the extreme right side you uh, see another option yes or no what is it it loads it is just like our operating system some of the calls are independent whether the plugins the plugin is activated or not and they actually increases the burden on the server the database server uh, just i am checking the whether the website is running rightly or not uh, you can actually check uh, the source code html source code from your browser tools and you will if there is any plugin that uh, shows you the loading time you will see after deleting a huge number of uh, such redundant chunks the page speed will increase obviously will increase and most importantly we will see on the back end it has been more responsive so the Textual guide is very important in this regard because it is just a guide video. Uh, because in a, through our text, we cannot express everything. In the same way, I am showing you another set of data. Obviously, you will not understand what uh, you cannot actually match or understand my situation. Because it is uh, every WordPress installation with time, time there we need to delete the old plugins or use up an alternative plugin. So obviously, everyone, everyone, every WordPress installation accumulates this junk. This is the importance of this. Uh, video guide that we can make our old WordPress installation as first as a new uh, installation. But CWP post and it has no extra button on the server, a lot of server because uh, they do not uh, create the situation like uh, WP options are rows in the WP options can add to the database. I know my SQL or KHP might be an uh, expert. Uh, obviously, a uh, person like Pinal can give more deeper uh, view for this uh, kind of issues but uh, this manipulation is enough for our usual non-academic uh, purpose again checking the website whether load, the website is loading fine or not and as I have said you have can check the page loading speed if there is no cache of database you yes and very importantly you have to uh, deactivate the cache plugin before uh, doing such manipulation you can see there is written uh, I am I was uh, telling you that how to find the name you can see the name um, there is a word a uh, professional so professional is a, a theme that we used uh, before but it has a redundant data and that is the reason this kind of uh, uh, theme or theme framework is not great for WordPress. This uh, adds too much burden and must be avoided and we actually 
root we cannot we are not afraid of any any kind of uh, theme or theme framework and we think that uh, except the delete uh, default um, wordpress uh, theme it's better to use either uh, genesis or thesis absolutely there is no need of experimenting with other kind of uh, theme or theme framework and it's quite costly both are quite costly if you want to go for a uh, custom theme custom child theme but you will definitely get back the fun because uh, the themes actually makes the wordpress uh, deliver the best possible specifically uh, genesis so as they are quite costly you have to uh, learn some part yourself and you will enjoy the part definitely and with a uh, beta version we have written some tips genesis uh, beta 2.0 beta so excellent and you can see our website is running genesis beta 2.0 a full html5 and it is excellent because we do not need a very uh, complicated uh, designed website the visitors uh, do not like a website that is has a lot of graphical elements and takes a huge time to load we need a website that is uh, responsive that is that loads quite first and is readable even in the screenshot you can see the you can read it and another method of what i have shown in this video is to use the uh, mysql uh, queries if you use mysql queries you can also uh, select the not in the part this, this is us this is the same thing you have we have done in our uh, comment metaphor and actually i'm showing you the comment metaphor reducing the bulk from the comment meta that is actually related to the aspect automatic have excellent software plugins but uh, this is a problem to generate due to uh, the spams so and this tutorial that tip guide is quite uh, famous reducing the burden of comment meta There is a script that adds the extra things because people copy the uh, posts. So you have to delete that spot. Be careful about it because you will not match. And for the old post, there was uh, actually no a code or pre part, but block code. So it is pulling uh, the uh, scripts added part. So we are sorry, but or there is uh, no way to get it back you can use the uh, pre or code for the older posts it's quite compli complicated installation itself because the keywords are, are quite costly keywords and the spammers targets our website frequently I think it is uh, true for any uh, good website. So the basic thing you have understood. Number one is um, you have to see check the number of possible number of burden from the your uh, WP admin options of PHP. There is a secret, somewhat secret uh, 
tweaking page and but you have nothing to do there then you will come to here by the, the your mysql through database through uh, php my admin and use the cli if you want but this is uh, easier to use then you will go to the wp options directly and uh, select uh, some of the content uh, mysql tables or rows and delete them and obviously at each step you should take backup and other ways to use uh, your other way to use your um, command line and you can see here that there is uh, actually i have not shown the previous uh, condition uh, there has been a massive release of database size as much as 30 MB so definitely it adds a mix of what the slider